Hello, beautiful, glorious generations family. Welcome back. So I made a promise that I was going to put up a video to talk about the events that happened on Sunday in my church. So that event is kind of special to me. Why? Because it's, it's a day to remember those who had passed on to glory, those who used to be brothers and sisters in Christ, who happens to be church members, dedicated and all, and they passed for one reason or the other. So um, that event is called All Saints Day, or you can call it Holy Sunday or All Saints Sunday. So the reason I am finding this event very much special is because we tend to remember people who had passed. First, that is to tell you anybody can pass, right? Whether old or young, anybody can pass. That's to also tell you, to remind you of the loved ones that had gone. That's also to remind you that um, you being alive is not by your own doing. You know, everyone will still go because after all, this is not our place. We all come to the world for one reason or the other. But my prayer, my prayer though, is that we fulfill our destinies before we leave. Jesus Christ left at age 33 but you cannot you can tell we all knew that he fulfilled the purpose the purpose to which he was born okay so um the reason i am doing this video is because i i was why the event was going on i was pondering there were so many things wandering in my mind so many thoughts dropping on my on my mind i was kind of i became so emotional really i became so emotional reason is because come to think of it when i did a mathematics of course we were given the mathematics like the number of people we have that are departed in the last one year hmm. i could remember when we celebrated that event a year ago we had numerous people like I, I know we had more than the people we had this sunday so this sunday we had total number of 15 people one of them happened to be a former pastor's husband who had uh, was he was he cancer yeah he died of cancer too bad too bad too bad too bad i remember that i attended the funeral and I was, you know, it's a different thing when you know someone is gone. Another different situation when you know this person before he left, you know. You tend to remember those memories. You you know, when I just, when I thought about him, I'm like, God, goodness. And on his funeral, I was just weeping like a baby when I, when I heard all, all of those things, you know, entangled with his death, how, how he passed on, all the little memory they had with him in the hospital before he finally got, you know, lost it. I mean, that is one experience. Those are one of the reasons I was, I became so emotional. Then another thing, one of my fellowship member, I mean, Sunday school members, in my church full of life you know and um, you know I, I that brought the memory on sunday the memory of how i got to church that day at the sunday school i just came in my own self like you know and i came late so i didn't know something had transpired before i came that's why it's bad to come late so when I came in, I just came in joyfully and everything. I sat down, hiding everybody, hyping everybody. <laughs> and I saw that everyone was, you know, they smile, but yet kind of moody. And then I realized something was wrong. And somebody just told me, we lost Sharon.
That was Sunday, right? She was shot on Saturday, a night before we gathered. This was someone we hugged last week Sunday. You can imagine how... I don't want to talk about it. It was terrible. I couldn't believe my years. I was lost at the moment. I was... I was like, how? Like, how? Just like that. Shots. Oh. Anyway, so I remember, as I'm talking now, I just remember something. I remember we were, I shared this because I turned 40 and then I I did a little celebration of my birthday. And then I, I, I remember that I shared this. I brought a pack of this candle it's for Mother's Day. And I brought it to, to my Sunday school members. And I said, we all should share it. Two all moms. And guess what? She was, we were meant to share it so she could have us. But, uh, you know, somehow I came late and we couldn't share it. So the following Sunday, we're supposed to share it and she will have her own. And then the next thing is that she had passed. You can imagine how that sounds like it was so terrible. So anyway, why I'm saying this, the, the essence of this video is not actually because of those who passed. But at least I know we have learned one of two things. But because of me thinking about the numbers of those that have passed and then comparing it with the numbers of newcomers we have in church so i'm like people are leaving the church either by exit to heaven or by someone make me sad or make me mad or not nice to me and i think we have more of that because i was a victim sometimes in 2017 2018 when you know a lot transpired in my former church and i had to excuse okay i excuse because i don't know like i said in my former um, my previous video we all have things we go through right in life everyone is going through one thing or the other so try and be nice to people just try do not do it because of whatever, but just try to be nice. Because if you're not nice to people, you don't even know what they're going through. You don't know the person you just insulted. You don't even know if he or she is battling with something. He meant that that's going to end up the person's life or emotional trauma. You don't even know what, you don't even know if that person is depressed. And here you are talking to that person anyhow trying to just make the person feel less sour of herself or of himself please let's stop all that hosha at the entrance giving you attitude you don't know this person coming into the church you don't know what he or she is going through just be nice he doesn't take anything from us be nice be nice his smile will do hi Fake it, even if you don't have it. Just fake it. Save someone's life, okay? Because when you give, you don't know what that person is, especially when the person has done you wrong. No wrong. <laughs> Anyways, the reason I'm doing this video is to tell us that many are leaving the church, but not many are coming back. You, We lost 15, right? But we don't have, because I, I always say hi to new people. I don't think we have 15 back. We don't. So looking at the church every Sunday, you see a lot of scanty chairs, benches, empty benches. You know, people come to church only occasionally or a lot don't even come at all. In fact, I know of some of my friends who are completely out of the church. They are out of the church for one reason or the other. And you know what? I am not blaming no one. I was out of the church, yes, for some weeks. I was thinking it's going to be for years. But some weeks after some weeks, I just went somewhere and then, you know, just for some food pantry that year and then 
boom i was honored i was being welcomed i was as in love brought me back to church i was loved i was shown love showered with love and i'm like really me am i a lovable am i lovable because does it mean someone cares about me and that's how i asked when is your service tomorrow because that was a saturday and then that's how i joined the service and then that's how i became a member and then and then i'm still here so please let's stop giving ourselves attitude many have left the church many are not coming back many benches are empty so be nice to everyone if you are blessed by this message please like it you can also share it if you're one of those who had left the church please look for a bit there are other places please you can message me i'll give you a hint but seriously if you have left the church i think you should reconsider try a new congregation you might be surprised just as i am surprised today love one another that was what jesus told us because love without love we can't even achieve the rest of the commandment we can't we can't do not kill do not this if you love someone you don't have to kill so love is more like the head of all of all those uh, uh, um, commandments if you want to be a child of god just follow his commandment love is one major thing we need in the body of christ you see christians going against going against christians many christians hate pastors you don't even know if those ones you think they are fake pastors or false pastors are actually real pastors so let's be careful only god knows what's up okay only him knows us deeper than you think thank you for joining me i love you all see you all again in my next video bye bye